This is Russ Anderson. Today we're going to show how you can use SynthEyes to do 360 VR stabilization and more. So we're going to start out by opening up our shot. And this is from the folks over at 360 Rise. So it's a collection of GoPro cameras mounted on a boom out in front of an ultralight aircraft and facing back nominally towards that vehicle. So you see as, as we play through the footage that it's bouncing around quite a bit, which would really be a problem for looking at this footage as it stands in a head-mounted display. So we're going to stabilize that, and to do that we're going to start out by masking out the ultralight aircraft. Because we want SynthEyes to be looking at the ground and use that as a reference for stabilization rather than the vehicle. We're also going to mask out the sky, and in particular the sun and the lens flare stuff that moves around on it. I'm going to make some little numeric changes here for VR footage and this sort of length of shot. And now I'm going to run the 2D tracking phase here. So SynthEyes is going and finding just a bunch of 2D features throughout the length of the shot. Now we could use this data for some simple filtering based stabilization. But for the most rigid stabilization, we're going to go ahead and do a full 360 VR solve where we're computing exactly where the camera went. And SynthEyes is a match moving application. So this is what you do normally to create effects for film and television on conventional footage. And SynthEyes is used throughout the industry to do that. Here we're using it on 360R VR footage as well. So we've now got a whole match move for this scene. So we have all these points and we've got a camera path. So let me just select the camera so you can see what's happening. Here's our camera in red. And as I scrub through the shot, you see it flying along on a curving path there. And you can see in the other views as well that it's, it's bouncing along as the vehicle is flying. Now each of these points that we just did tracking on previously in 2D now has a 3D set of coordinates. And that lets them be displayed in the three different views here. Now you notice there's this whole slant going on. And just from doing the match move, there's, there's no defined way to determine you know, which, which way the scene should be oriented. So you're seeing just a essentially arbitrary result. So this is a clue that there's really a decision to be made next, which is as simple, which way is up? And ultimately, that can be a artistic decision. You know, in this footage, we have a horizon level to look at. But in some shots, if you've got a shot in a canyon, say, you've got rocks and boulders and stuff around, and no horizon line. So it's up to the artist to decide really which way should be up. And it, there's no necessarily right answer. It's not going to matter to the stabilization, whatever you pick you're going to get a stable result. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do this decision making and tell synthize what you want. If there are a bunch of trackers down here on a flat piece of ground, you can use them to snap it to the desired direction directly. You can also spin the footage around. You can use the path, a whole bunch of different things. And I'll have some other tutorials that show those other methods. In this one, we're going to use a method that's suitable for this shot where we do have a horizon line. So the idea is just to go and scrub through the shot looking for a frame where it looks like the camera is def you know, definitely level. The vehicle happened to be level at that particular frame and we see a you know, straight, you know, slightly curvature of earth uh, sort of horizon line over there. So we're going to use this frame as a reference for the entire shot. So to do that, I'm going to flip over here to the 3D panel and say that I want to move the entire scene. And we're going to do the rotation to make it level on this one particular frame. So I'm just setting all the rotation angles to zero. And as I do this, you see that the 3D views have all switched around to reflect that. And now if I scrub through the shot, you know, it's level on that one particular frame, and the footage hasn't really changed at all. We've just changed the overall orientation. 
And if you take a look up at this top left view, you see that the, you know, the camera is flying along and, and bending. I want to point that out now because what I'm going to do next is doing the stabilization. So we're going to run a script. And now you take a look at that camera as it moves through the shot. And it's, it's looking straight ahead. In this case, you know, up in your image. And if you look in the two other views, you'll see that it's perfectly level throughout the shot. So that's the camera that you wish you had. You wish you were able to shoot with this camera. But as Synthize ran that script and flattened out the camera like that, it computed all the adjustments to the shots to make the sh images correspond to this camera. So now if we go over and look at it in a larger view, we're getting the images that correspond to the we wish we had camera. The one that's flying perfectly flat, perfectly level, perfectly straight ahead. So our footage is intrinsically and rigidly stable throughout the shot. So that's great. This is a great result that you can now export as an image sequence or movie file directly out of Synthize if you want. You have a couple other options though. So we'll go over and export, and I, some of this is cut off. We have a bunch of different options for exporting the 360 VR stabilization data itself. So I'm going to, right now, we're going to be exporting to After Effects the stabilization. So here's After Effects sitting around in the background doing nothing. We're going to write this file and we're going to tell it we want it to be run immediately by After Effects. So After Effects just fired up and ran the script that was exported by Synthize. And now, oh look, here's our stable footage in After Effects. So what's going on? The project file that Synthize just wrote out for After Effects to set up has this metal rotate sphere operation. This is the, from the metal folks, they have their skybox. There's also a, a plugin that uh, comes with Synthize that you could target too. That's one of the options that cut off the, the top of the capture window here. But either way, you see that there are three angles that describe what you're doing to the image on every frame. So it's, it's been keyed up on every frame with exactly how to level that frame out. So now you've got the level footage inside of After Effects. So if you do, if you're going to do a bunch of effects inside of After Effects, rather than having to write the entire sequence out of Synthize, taking up a bunch more disk and you know, possibly even having to compress it again, now you just can get it directly inside After Effects, have it be generated inside After Effects using the data provided by Synthize and avoid some trouble and possible image resampling. So now you can go and add effects in here. Now, as I said, Synthize is a camera tracking application that's used add visual effects in the film, TV, and now 360 VR. And the way that that starts out in Synthize is to go and export not that kind of stabilization data, but to go and export this entire 3D scene of where the camera went, where things are in the scene and then go and export them to a whole long list of 3D applications. They're your 3DS Max, your Maya, Cinema 4D, Blender, Lightwave. So you can send the entire scene to your 3D application to create new elements. So you can do things like this, where here we've added in a building to the scene. We've added in a plane flying by. These are all 3D renders, the balloon there. There's a more subtle one that's going on here too. If you look, here's the shadow of the building on the ground and there's actually like a little valley and a hill on the other side. So how are we doing that? Well, that's using these tracking locations that have been computed by Synthize, building a mesh inside of Synthize, exporting that mesh to the 3D application and using that as a shadow catcher. So Synthize is a standalone application. It has a whole lot of tools within it. 
as a specialty camera tracking application and you're seeing just kind of like a fraction of them that are you know useful right now to basically everybody who wants to let their camera move in, inside a 360 VR it lets you do a whole bunch of other stuff also so you can get that for your Windows your Mac even Linux for a 500 bucks to find out more you can go to our website and on the tutorials page there's an entire section of tutorials for 360 VR also you can go and download the demo version then go to the download page and in the example files section you'll find the image sequence used for the tutorial today so you can try it and follow along at home yourself thanks for watching